first time around was a 35-point UNC blowout, but I don't think there's anybody here in Detroit expecting a game like that on Monday night. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be back with you on Destination Detroit, presented by Denny's, brought to you by Denny's all-new Grand Slam, which everything you've always loved about the Grand Slam, now in a sandwich. Let's bring in the team. CBS College Sports is Steve Lapis, the head coach of St. John's, Norm Roberts, who you've seen with us on uh, MMLD all throughout the tournament. And uh, Norm, let's start with you here. When you lose a first game by 35, when you talk about a rematch, does that play a role? All the players downplayed it today, but does that play a role in their minds at all? Well, I don't think it really plays much of a role. I think it would if they played closer. We're talking about three or four months ago. They don't remember that game at all. I know that Hansborough played very well in that game, and Kaelin Lucas didn't play as well, but it will be a totally different situation this time around. Steve, the other part, too, is that Goran Sutan didn't play at all in that game, and he, he wasn't even in the building for that game. Well, that helps Tom Izzo teach these guys to blow that game off. He's going to be a master at getting them to not even think about that game. Say, oh, Goron didn't play. Look how different a team we are now than we were back then. And one thing about kids, they don't they have very short memories. They probably don't even remember the game. What about the flip side of that, though, Norma? How do you, if you're Roy Williams, make sure your kids don't remember that, the fact that they blew out Michigan State? Well, what you do is you continue to tell them, hey, we made them turn the ball over. They turned it over 21 times. And you say that we got to get the ball to Hansborough. They couldn't stop them last time. So you really hop on the things that you did really well. Steve, what about the this environment as well? Because they played at this stadium right behind us here. They played at Ford Field, but it wasn't sold out. It wasn't full. And it sure as heck didn't have 65,000 Michigan State fans. No, this is going to be one unbelievable environment tomorrow night for Michigan State. But one thing about North Carolina, they have not shied away from saying what they came here for. They played yesterday against Villanova, played well, didn't play like a team that had a lot of pressure on them. And let's face it, they do have the best players. Now, I'm not saying that Michigan State can't win or will, they'll do certain things, there's no doubt. But right now, this North Carolina team looks and acts like they're on a mission. It's certainly talented, and everybody will admit that North Carolina is talented. But, Norm, do you think the talent of Michigan State has kind of been underplayed in this? Well, I think Michigan State's very talented. I mean, Kalen Lucas is one of the best guards in the country. Summers is really coming on. Delvon Rowe is playing great for them right now. So they're a very different team than what North Carolina saw the first time. All right, Steve, the key to this game for Michigan State that they didn't do the first time. Well, I think they're going to have to really offensive rebound well in this game. So I think if they do that, that will slow down the transition. I think any game plan that you have for North Carolina has to somehow involve slowing them down in transition because Lawson is unbelievable in terms to get, in terms of getting the ball to the floor. What about you, Norm? What's the key for them? They've got to contain Lawson. That's the biggest key. And Kalen Lucas and Walton can both do that. They can contain them, keep them in front. They did that against, you know, Villanova. They did that against other good teams. And they've got to contain him because he's the key to their whole team, Michigan State. All right, folks, don't forget, we'll be with you all throughout uh, today and Monday on Destination Detroit, presented by Denny's. We'll break down the front court. We'll break down the back court. We'll give you all the keys to the game here on CBSSports.com. And don't forget to... Uh, Bring a friend at Denny's on April 8th from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and uh, get a free Grand Slam, which when you purchase a Grand Slam. For Steve Lapis and Norm Roberts, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.